In this video, we're going to show you how to add a notification bar at the top of your website to let people know what the process you're going through for the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, so I'm using WordPress. This is a fresh installation. You can see it's just my WordPress demo site. Nothing else is on here. Um, and so what you would do is you log in, go into the back end of the admin area, which will be taken to your dashboard page. From here, you'll go down and go to the plugins, go to add new. And then once you're here on the top right hand side, you can search for a plugin. So the plugin that we're going to use, and it's really not for this, uh, but the plugin that we're going to use is actually a cookie notice for WordPress. Uh, because it has all the functionality that we're looking for uh, and we'll be able to uh, go ahead and, and uh, do this. So this one right here, this cookie notice and for GDPR and CPPA. So we'll go ahead and install that and then once it's installed, uh, the button will say activate and you can go ahead and activate that plugin. So now what you need to do is go over to the settings. So now that the plugin is activated, you'll go over to uh, settings and you'll go down to where it says cookie notice. So click on cookie notice. And then now you're gonna have a message that you can put in here, uh, as well as the button text. Uh, so there's a couple, uh, a, a couple things that you can do. Uh, so for example, uh, you can, this, this message in here, you can just uh, delete uh, and you can put something like, you know, uh, see the uh, steps we are taking to uh, stay safe during the COVID-19 pandemic. All right. All right. So now on the button text, instead of saying OK, you can just say dismiss because really it, it doesn't really mean anything for it. Now we're going to enable this privacy policy here. Uh, but here we're going to say learn more, all right? Learn more, uh, and we're going to take them to a specific page. Now, we, since we don't really have a page on here, we're just going to select the sample page. But what you would do is you create a uh, create a page inside of WordPress that will just tell you all uh, tell everybody all the different steps that they're taking. Um, so uh, you're taking with with uh, this with with the COVID-19 and, and all the plans that you're doing. So we want a banner um, that are on there and then we can have it with the cell. So you don't really need to do anything else on here. Uh, so once you're done, just scroll down to the bottom and click save. Now, if you wanna change uh, some of the colors and stuff like that, that's what this, this bottom section is for. So um, you can change the, uh, the text color and the bar color code. Uh, so for example, if you wanted to make it red, you could make it red. You can also put in a hex color so it could uh, stand out on your branding. Um, and that's really kind of like the last step. Now, if we go back over to this website um, and we look at here, all I need to do is refresh the page. And then now I'm seeing it pop up here at the bottom. You see this pandemic? So what we can do is come back over here and also look for um, this position right here and you can decide whether or not you want it at the bottom or at the top. I prefer at the top uh, so I'm just going to click top and if I click refresh on this again it's going to move up to the top and now it's taking taking the spot there. So uh, you see here steps and then if we learn more then we're taking over to the sample page that has it. The bar still remains up top which is which is critical uh, unless they hit this mess. Right? So if they hit this mess then it goes away. Uh, pretty simple. So that's all there is to it. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, simple and using this uh, one little uh, plug-in will let you get this done pretty quickly.